What a wild week with temperatures. Cold temperatures, record lows yesterday morning. This afternoon, we're in the upper 60s and 70s, running about 30 to 34 degrees warmer than we were at this point yesterday. And that does put the temperatures on into the 60s and even 70s, uh, especially south and west of Youngstown. And uh, this warm air is going to last on through this evening, overnight into tomorrow. And the gusty wind will keep blowing in that warm air as we get into this evening. Out to the West, those gusts starting to get into that 30 mile per hour range, even some 40s, and I do expect that for us as we get into later tonight into tomorrow with those wind gusts starting to jump up into the 30s and even 40s uh, throughout your Thursday. And that is all being pushed in by a very strong storm system off to our west. And that's also, of course, driving in uh, the warmer temperatures. But there is some colder air uh, behind this system. We'll get back into that by late tomorrow night into Friday. Tonight, though, big severe weather across Mississippi into the Mid-South here this evening. That'll keep sweeping eastward. Shall even a few thunderstorms off to our northwest. Now, uh, the bulk of this will ride north and west of us through this evening into tonight. We'll just have some clouds around. A small chance for some showers, but a chance will start to increase as we get into the early morning. Right now, we are dry on Storm Team 27 Viper radar and a pretty nice spring evening out there. The wind just slowly uh, will continue to kick up through this evening into the overnight. So looking at future tracker, clouds around through the evening. Temperatures don't fall too far as uh, we go through this evening. In fact, they'll start turning around again uh, toward early tomorrow morning with that chance of a a shower returning, especially late tonight into tomorrow morning. Now, for your Thursday, it stays windy. Those gusts up to 30 to 40 miles per hour. Warm, too, will push the temperatures uh, back up into the middle 60s. The chance of a shower or even a thunderstorm, a small chance of a thunderstorm in the morning, there's a better chance as a line of showers and storms form into midday into tomorrow afternoon. So I don't expect rain all day tomorrow. In fact, we're going to have quite a few breaks in between these showers, but uh, this line of showers that develops through the afternoon and drops on through could feature a thunderstorm with it and then down go the temperatures and they just keep falling tomorrow night. Uh, the chance of a sprinkle or a shower through the evening. Then later tomorrow night, any rain showers will mix over to snow showers. Could even get a burst of snow into early Friday morning with a light coating temperatures in the 30s again to get out the door Friday morning and it stays cold through the day. High temperatures struggling to get back up toward 40 degrees on into Friday afternoon with that risk of snow showers floating around through the morning. Uh, those will start to taper off as we get into the afternoon. So a lot of back and forth here over the next couple of days. 58 tonight, warm, gusty wind developing, isolated showers, especially late tonight. Uh, tomorrow, the showers, chance of a thunderstorm. I'll be watching that live into the afternoon, 65 and falling late in the afternoon into the evening, cold enough that we mix back to snow. Tomorrow night could be a coating of snow down uh, by Friday morning. Those snow showers would mix back to a few rain showers into Friday afternoon and then drying out for Saturday. Saturday looks just fine. Sunday, that chance of showers will sneak back in here late Saturday night into Sunday and then we'll catch a break Monday morning, but the chance of showers tries to return by the afternoon. On Settled weather will stick around next Tuesday and Wednesday with the chance of a shower. Not too cold, though. Temperatures in the mid to upper 50s.